Hello Kawaii friends! In this video, I'm going to share with you five vintage toy shops that you should visit in Seoul. Are you ready? Contoiner in Hongdae is a vintage shop and cafe and it has an insanely cute Instagrammable rooftop terrace on which you can enjoy a pretty but very sweet beverage and also take photos with ice cream, pink flamingos, and pastel colored props and lawn furniture. The shop itself is part toy museum, part vintage toy shop, and the owner seems to have a particular interest in Toy Story, The Nightmare Before Christmas, and One Piece. You can find a lot of items here from Japan. Some of them look like UFO catcher wins from a long time ago or some of that for sale in Japan only merchandise that's in fairly good but not mint condition. Knowing how things work in Japan, which is basically they always have new products coming out and then the old merchandise is no longer available, most likely a lot of the stuff in the shop is probably no longer sold in stores. Pixie and Hongdae is a true girly girl shop. It specializes in vintage My Little Pony, Care Bears, and has a small selection of no longer available Swimmer Japan merchandise. Pixie also sells a small selection of Lolita style clothing and has these super sweet kawaii Japanese plushies like this toy bunny. It's a little bit out of the way from the main Hongdae street, but it's definitely worth a visit. And they have a really good online store if you want to purchase online. Jelly Bubble is another toy store that seems to have a really girly feel, but what stood out to me most about this was the crazy collection of McDonald's Happy Meal toys like Hello Kitty and Real Akuma and all these things that I've never seen before as well as some vintage items. The owner also has a variety of American toys and if you grew up in the 80s, it'll probably trigger major feelings of nostalgia for you. I'm talking about The Simpsons, Vintage Barbie, The Hershey Store in Times Square, Popples, I actually owned this particular Popple, Mr. Potato Head, Pez Dispensers, and Dreamcatchers? I mean, come on, this is amazing. She also has a nice selection of Japanese stuff like Al Picasso's and the Duffy Bear from Disney Sea and other Disney, Disney Japan merchandise. I'll be honest though, this store is a little bit out of the way, it was kind of a trek for me to get here but the owner has a pretty active Instagram page and she also speaks English if you guys want to get a preview of her stuff. Neko Kochi is a shop that's right smack in the middle of Hongdae and it sells some vintage and some newish products. They seem to specialize in Japanese products, especially Sailor Moon. You'll also see some Q Posket figures, Sanrio stuff, Powder Puff Girls, Al Picasso, Good Luck Charms that you'll find at those Japanese temples, My Little Pony, and more. While some of those vintage toy shops have a certain smell, this shop seems to carry newer stuff and it feels really fresh and clean. It's a small and well curated collection of cute stuff that's really just a joy to look at. Maison de Aloha. I don't even know where to begin with this store. I just happened upon it while I was looking for a beauty cafe that no longer exists and what caught my eye was this monster wall of trolls in the window. I used to love collecting these naked figures with fluorescent hair when I was growing up and I guess now they've kind of been replaced by Sunny Angels dolls? I don't know. I think my mom gave away my troll collection though. So. That was amazing. And then I started walking towards the back and I saw a pack of confetti. I used to be obsessed with this stuff in elementary school. And then I look up and I see a pink locker and to the left a poster, a Bob poster with Alyssa Milano and Kirk Cameron on it. I mean, Pop is just so nostalgic for me. And then I turn and look at the other wall and I see a young Leonardo DiCaprio next to Britney Spears. And I mean, I was just done at that point. Like, if you're an 80s child, there's no way you could not like this store. The sign makes it look like an upscale boutique that sells Tommy Bahama shirts, but when you step inside, it's really just a gem. So I just want to mention that all of these stores have somewhat unusual operating hours, so be sure to check them before you go. I'm talking like 2 p.m. to 9 p.m. or something like that. And I think one of them closes between 4 and 5 for a break. And also they don't always open on time. So you just want to check the hours. All in all, when I walked into these stores, especially Maison de Aloha and Jelly Bubble, I felt like they were made for me. I'm an American who grew up in the 80s and then I lived in Japan for 3 years and so it really makes me wonder who curated these stores. 
I don't know if Koreans who grew up in Korea would have the same feeling of nostalgia. I mean, did they read Bop? And did they like Britney Spears and Leonardo DiCaprio? Or were they more into like K-pop stars? And were My Little Pony and Care Bears popular in Korea back then? I just have so many unanswered questions. I'm wondering, are these stores made for Americans or Koreans? And do they appeal to Koreans in the same way they appeal to me? So most of these stores, four out of five of them are in Hongdae. So I'm pretty sure they cater to university students. So I just wonder how the younger generation views these stores. I'd like to know your thoughts. So leave me a comment below and let me know when you grew up and what were some of your favorite toys and characters back in the day. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.